Good morning guys. It is a Wednesday and I wasn't planning on vlogging today, but I just feel like it's the move for some reason. But before I talk to you literally anymore, I need coffee. So let's do that and then I'm gonna get, I have a lot of updates for you guys, uh, business stuff, life stuff. And I figured it would be fun to chat because I have a little bit of time before I have to sit down at my desk. So we haven't done a sit down, get ready with me in a while. I'm finished drinking my chia water. I was out of lemon juice this morning, so this tastes like not good without the lemon, but whatever. Anyways, this is pointless. Let's make coffee. Okay, I'm gonna film my little TikTok now. I've been really bad about remembering to do this. This week, uh, Corey's been out of town, and I've just been, I i think I've been being hella productive. Um, please shut up. No. So, but I'm not gonna get my phone stand. It's not happening, so I'm gonna just have to do it with this water bottle propped up. Okay, amazing. Okay, just filmed, actually, let's try the coffee first. Amazing. Just film that little morning TikTok that I always do and I kind of like I occasionally debate not doing them because I'm not obsessed with it, but It's Storytelling and being more present like with showing your face on apps like TikTok is important So I'm trying to stick with it, but I'm gonna quickly edit that then we'll go sit down and Do makeup for probably like 10 minutes and we'll get into the day Okay, Oliver's here hanging out. I'm looking a little bit crazy right now. I actually feel kind of like more energized than usual. I don't know why I'm gonna use this candle to prop up my mirror. This is the best bronzer ever. It's the Marc Jacobs bronzer in the shade Tantalize. And people ask me about this actually, which is so, they actually do because I know every like personal line is like, people always be asking me, but I do get questions because I use it as like my eyeshadow and it's like just the best shade but i don't have a ton of time but let's dive in so it's super interesting for me to try to balance like you know the professional type of content that i do but still recognizing that like there's more to me than just like my business like i guess what i mean by that is like i have other things going on in my life and i don't want it to seem like i don't of course, like everyone has, you know, family stuff going on and all of those kinds of things. But I am pursuing things in my life too to support myself, like on my general entrepreneurial journey, not just in my business. And so I thought I would like just give you guys some updates today. There are a few things that I like wasn't sure I wanted to like bring up yet at all because they're not like confirmed. But I guess we can start out by just talking about... Um, if I, this would be easier if I actually looked in my mirror and not in the viewfinder, but just business stuff. We'll kick it off there because a lot of y'all I know are coaches that watch these videos, but I am going to be launching several new like products or like services and offers in my online coaching business. If you're new here, I run my own. It's basically like an online business consultancy. It's a business mentorship business for online coaches because that's where I got my start. I love it. Um, but you guys who have been around for a while know that I keep it pretty simple. I have my group foundations of online coaching program. I cannot talk. And then I have my one-on-one -on -one program, the elevated coach mentorship. I teach the same method. Um, my method that I really consider to be pretty foolproof, um, for building traction in online coaching. So really like love those programs they're not going anywhere i'm in the middle of both of them right now but i want to integrate a few more things that are a little bit more like accessible pricing wise so things that and more subject based so something where like you know people in my audience or you guys right who have interests in specific areas i want to start providing 
mid and low ticket opportunities for you guys to learn from me not just in a master class because i am trying to do more events like that but even just you know through like group programs and guided courses and things that are more involved and you're actually going to get like attention from me and it's going to be like repetitive attention um but you know there are much more like manageable price points so that's kind of where i'm at is like always planning for the future you know trying to make sure that i'm like prepared and that's a huge Im hugely important part of of owning your own business but it's also really challenging obviously to always have to be looking way ahead when especially when everyone around you who works a normal job like really is thinking about like today tomorrow maybe next week and they're not in charge of making the plan so it's a little bit of a unique experience there for sure but i'm excited to bring some new things to the table and i would really encourage you guys to just keep um keep an eye on like these videos and definitely connect with me oh i cannot find my brush connect with me over on ig because there are going to be a lot of things with shorter launches so things that like by the time you see a YouTube video, they, you know, might already be closed for enrollment. I do limited spaces for all my programs where I have like direct contact with people just so that I can provide a really like high level of service there. So, you know, stay in the loop. If you're a new coach or you own any type of online business, like a lot of the stuff I'm going to be coming out with, I think will be very beneficial for you. And it'll be a little bit lower of a commitment than an intensive like one-on-one -on -one mentorship oh my god i always get like cat hair or like brush fibers or powder in my nose when i do my makeup <laughs> my nose ends up itching so bad um so yeah that's that which just means that there's a lot more like planning that goes into stuff and there's a lot more time that i have to spend creating and not just creating like marketing materials because that's obviously like you know new marketing stuff and rebranding is a consistent thing that i'm working on but like in other areas literally creating like the new product and it takes a lot of discipline to be like okay i am gonna you know steer a little in a little bit of a different direction from what's easy and like what i've already been doing for so long so trying to be disciplined in that branch out be diverse and with that being said i am pursuing a few other things outside of just Emily Woods Wellness, the business mentorship stuff, like essentially the money that I make there and the impact that I make there means the most to me, but I need to also be diversifying and scaling my business and scaling my entrepreneurial ventures. And so you guys know, okay, actually it was in the last vlog. I went to view a house and I was like, you know, I don't know how this is gonna go, we'll see. Well, and I don't even know if I should be talking about this, but I'm gonna take you along on the journey, whatever happens, happens. Our offer actually got accepted <laughs> on that property, which is crazy. And I will believe it when I see it, you know, I am not unaware that like, you know, we obviously have to do an inspection and make sure that things like don't, like things can go awry before you close on a house. So I'm definitely keeping like my, my emotions in check about it, both my nerves and my excitement because it's not done until it's done. And I'm very, I'm a big believer in that. So we're pursuing that process, but right now when I'm filming this, my husband, Corey is in um, Puerto Rico actually. So he is on a work trip, which is super cool. I think he's having a great time, um, but I've really been like managing <laughs> the house stuff kind of like on my own he's obviously helping as much as he can but he is not here so that has also been quite interesting and i talked about this a little bit on my instagram but i just like to remind everybody that like it's okay to not know what you're doing and still like do it anyways like i don't know everything about like investment properties and there's going to be so much that i'm learning and it's a big reason why i'm even doing it in the first place um but that's not like stopping me from like pursuing it and the only way to to do it and to know what you're doing is to be a beginner and to get started because that's the only way to become eventually not a beginner so that's where we're at with that and that's definitely been somewhat of an intimidating 
process although like i said i'm really keeping myself in check until it's like a done deal which you know that's gonna be a second we're working on getting out like our inspectors and still like loan shopping and doing all that kind of stuff and like you guys probably know this but the housing market in the country is insane and i live in an area where i think everyone says this but i think the market is like even crazier where i'm living i live in a very like popping area like a very in demand market and it's really fast growing and i grew up here and it was like a small town with like cotton fields and cows everywhere i'm not kidding and now it's becoming like an actual city and it's crazy to see and i feel very blessed to own my home and to potentially be the owner of a second piece of property here and embark on that journey so let me know in the comments if you wouldn't mind if or shoot me a message you never have to make it like a public announcement if you are a property investor um because i'm would love to build a little bit of a community there and to learn how interested you guys actually are or would be in seeing content like on that topic so definitely let me know i have had some really good calls and connections with people um over this topic because i don't know anyone else in my life especially my age who is doing anything like that which is cool but it's also you know it comes alongside like not having a lot of people to bounce thoughts ideas concerns off of so that's that update so that's crazy um i'm trying to think i have a lot of trips coming up this month so i've really been like i already vlogged actually it's like fine that i'm vlogging this week i'm trying to get ahead and create content that i can like batch create i fully have batch created all of my training videos for the whole month of may and a little bit into june because i'm going to be doing some really cool traveling so you guys you need to subscribe because the content the training educational content i'm putting out over the next month is really really good i had the best time creating it i have a new video editor and her first video that she edited actually went live today which is so exciting i think i mentioned in my last video or my last vlog probably that i was training a new editor and she has been absolutely phenomenal it's been so fun having her um on the team and so she actually her first edited video went live today and it was me talking about like traveling and how my husband and i like pick our destinations and how we make it work highly requested by the ladies over on my instagram so you guys definitely check that out and leave a comment if you love the editing because my editor is the best 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 so that's where we're at that's my new outsourcing update is that i think we're up to speed i'm training one more um co-coach so i have got currently like three co-coaches that work under me um or with me i'm only saying under me that work with me in my programs and i'm wrapping up a training cycle with my final one so that it can be very like self-sufficient we'll be able to handle more clients and basically i've been working for the past like eight months six eight months very diligently to open up more time for myself to be able to work on other things and i'm constantly having to remind myself like why am i doing this like you know what's the point of all this training and this scheduling stuff and the point is serving my clients better because they have more perspective and more attention and giving myself more time to pursue things that add diversity to my mind and my knowledge and my financial situation and overall i think i am like really proud of myself for how that's been going even though it can be hard to be proud of yourself speaking of which my realtor texted me oh my god he literally was just sending me like a thumbs up emoji every time he texts me i'm like oh god like what it's either like he needs a large sum of money or like something has gone awry i am anxiously awaiting getting this house inspected it is an older home it is it's an investment property it needs a little bit of work that's fine i do not i'm not intimidated by a cosmetic upgrade i think that we're going to be able to really put some equity into the home that way but you know i i definitely think that like because it's an older home like there's the potential that it has like some larger stuff going on which of course you want to know about but 
you don't want your your plans to fall through so we will see what happens i drink my coffee out of a yeti because i don't own a microwave i don't know if you guys knew that um but yeah i don't have a microwave i don't know why we just don't i don't like the way they look <laughs> And so this keeps my coffee warmer for a lot longer, but I am going to give my voice a little bit of a rest for the next 20 minutes, go get prepped for all of my calls. And I also need to do something with this hair. Maybe, I don't actually don't know if I even am gonna do anything. I might literally leave it like this. I don't mind a messy look. So I think I'll just leave her and I will see you guys when I, I'll just check in sometime later this morning. I have two calls, so one is in 30 minutes. Then I have an hour long gap in between and I'm hoping to just like park myself at my desk and work a bunch because I think that I will probably go grocery shopping and do some errands. I find that if I have a really busy call day, if I blend in some like domestic tasks, get myself out of the house, that can be helpful. And then later this afternoon, I have two calls and then I'm done for the week with calls and it is only Wednesday. So proud of that, but I will check in with you guys soon. All right guys, just getting prepped for my call. The calls that I have with my more advanced clients are really fun. Obviously calls that I have with my like very beginner clients are fun too. Um, everyone that I work with is mostly a beginner in some capacity, but like right now I'm creating a really, what I think is like innovative launching plan for my client. If you are someone who feels stagnant in your business, I really wanna highly recommend that you Take some time to look at your product suite. Is it new? Is it exciting? Um, is it a little too new and exciting and you need to like go back to the basics and keep building awareness around a specific offer? I think it's really imperative that you're always staying on top of like analyzing this stuff. And I wanna encourage you guys, if you ever feel like you need help figuring that out or you like need some perspective, always feel free to reach out to me because even if we just chat in the DMs, like I'm happy to offer some perspective, but I'm gonna finish prepping for this. I'll get off this call, do a little work, and I'll probably talk to you guys mid-afternoon. But I wanted to just throw that out there because the launch plan that I'm putting together for her, you can see it's not like done yet. It's very simple, but I'm literally just creating a grid with different options, one that will build on the next, to build a lot of awareness within her offers. And what we'll do is we'll go into that second column and add the details, what content needs to be created, what marketing materials do we need, all that kind of stuff. So I'm gonna finish doing that. I'll fill in the gaps with her once I get her opinion and I'll let you guys know how it goes. I think it's gonna go great, um, but I'll, I'll talk to y'all later. Okay, that call went well, but I'm not gonna lie. I'm being a total weenie because my only day that I've had client calls this week was yesterday. And then obviously like I have my calls today, but I am very tired. I have not been sleeping good because young Oliver, the, the pup, the little dog, he sleeps in the bed with me when he stays here, which has been fun because when Corey's gone, I like really like the company. Um, but he keeps me awake. <laughs> he keeps me awake at night and it's kind of a little sad. So I'm just like very tired and I obviously can't even talk. So while trying to manage my caffeine, I'm also aware that today is the last call day that I have. And I do have an early morning workout plan for tomorrow, which is not ideal, but whatever. Um, so I'm trying to manage my caffeine, but I drank half a Celsius this morning between like my run and my lifting. So I had a coffee, I'm drinking the other half of it now. I don't know why I feel the need to keep you guys updated on my every move when it comes to caffeine. It's just a big part of my life. I don't know what to say. So I'm gonna drink that. I have 30 minutes till my next call. Of course I've messed around for like 30 minutes right now. So awesome. But I am going to get on a sauna. If you guys do not use Asana, it's amazing. I probably will forget to link it, but I have a whole video about how I use Asana to stay like very organized in my business. And it is clearly the only thing holding my life together. <laughs> it's on my YouTube channel. I feel like my forehead, I feel like I didn't blend that like blush in. I tried to make it look like I'm sun kissed when really I apply sunscreen like a madman. So I am going to A, clean up my to-do list for the day so I know what I need to get done and B, edit some content for a client. Actually, I think I'm gonna assign that to, I have a co-coach that specializes in social media now and she's been getting really amazing at editing content. So I'm gonna do that. I need to repaint this singular fingernail, clearly, because I keep picking at it. 
And yeah, I think that I will hit a grocery run between these calls. I think if I don't leave the house, I might lose my shit. So we're gonna do that. If I just sit here and stay on the phone for too long, the vibes are bad. The vibes are very, very bad. <laughs> All right, guys, I need to go. I'm gonna, I'm gonna work now. Talk, talk to you guys later. Okay guys, I just got off of a client call that actually ran like way over, but it was still, it was so good. I, when I have the time, like really like to just give people their moment and we just like, I literally have like chills right now. First of all, my clients are, excuse me, my clients are so nice. Like literally the nicest people, like showering me and like compliments and just being so sweet and it literally makes everything worth it. So that was really, really fun. But I really need to pee. And I think that I'm going to get my Instagram post for the day taken care of and posted. And then I'm gonna go to the grocery store because I think this is the best time for me to take a break. It is 1 p.m. I don't have a call until 3.30. So I'm gonna hopefully get out of here in the next like 30 minutes hit the grocery store and then I will come back. I have my last two calls of the day and I'll be good to go. And honestly, I could just get my IG post up when I get home. Maybe I'll do that. I don't know, it depends. I have a new YouTube video that went up today. You guys should definitely check out my educational videos. They go out every Wednesday, super stoked about them, but I'm gonna go pee because I can't even think straight. <laughs> Okay, actually, <laughs> change of plans. I'm not going to the grocery store right this second because I am hungry again, which like it's lunchtime. It makes sense that I would be hungry, but I've gotten in the most horrible habit of like not eating on a regular schedule whatsoever. But with the getting up, running and lifting, like that's just that I've already been awake for so long too. So I meal prepped yesterday and I made roasted turmeric cauliflower and roasted red potatoes and tofu. I literally used to eat like this so much when I was vegan <laughs> in college, um, but it's literally all I had left in my fridge yesterday. So I'm going to eat in front of my computer, which is not amazing. But yeah, I think that's gonna be the only situation we can work with. And then I'll go to the store after that. And then I only have two more calls and they're gonna be fun and amazing. And then I get to relax. I'm going to my friend's house for dinner. And I also have to do a bunch of shit for the house that I bought, that I'm buying. What the heck? I have, I'm having a meltdown, I have to go. Okay, unfortunate news, maybe. <laughs> I did not go to the grocery store. I knew that would happen. I really don't like doing things between calls, like when I have morning calls and afternoon calls, unless they're like really far apart. I like, you never know if you're gonna get stuck in traffic or whatever, so. Anyways, I took Oliver for a walk and I let Stevie have some out time. Out out hard time. <laughs> Some outside time. Oliver's passed out on the couch. And I just made more coffee. So I have two shots of espresso and I'm going to drink one now to kind of get me like hyped because I have a call in like 15 minutes. So I'm going to make it into an Americano. First, I got to preheat my cup. So you got to add, you got to, if you're not doing this, it makes it so much better. Fresh out of espresso, but before you put it in your mug, you preheat it with some boiling water, get it warm. You gotta, it doesn't have to be hot, but you need to get the like coldness out of the like coldness. You need to warm up the ceramic basically. It's like swirl that around. Then you get out that water, we don't want that. And then you add your espresso shot. Sorry, this camera is not far enough away from me. And then I just top it off with like a little bit more water. I want it to be small. I want to just like sip on this before my call. And then I'm also going to make an iced coffee after this call. So I'm gonna drink this now and then go to my office 
and then I have like an hour and a half break where I'm gonna get the rest of my work done for the day. I'm also gonna try to get really organized for tomorrow during that time. Have my last call, then I'll be done. This is gonna be a hard one because I just need to like push through. I'm very like, I'm tired, I've had a lot of calls this week, but I'm gonna sit down for two seconds and watch like five more minutes of Friends and then I'm gonna go finish getting ready. But I think this will probably help a lot. Okay guys, mm, this is not the vibe. Hold on, let me aim this up. I'm too tall for everything. So I am about, <laughs> I feel like today has been like a marathon day. I was just not in the headspace this week to be on the phone. I don't know why. And I've loved, I, every client call I've had this week has been overwhelmingly positive and like easy in a lot of ways, but dang, I am just, like my energy is like low. I'm not even sleepy. It's like my voice is tired. I don't know, it's weird. But I, I think a lot of it is because I have a lot of trips coming up. I just traveled some and then I have a lot of trips like up ahead that I'm having to do a lot of rescheduling for and that drains me for some reason. Like I love a set schedule and kind of knowing what's upcoming and I also love to travel and I make spontaneous decisions <laughs> about traveling. So anyways, I am going to end this vlog here because I'm going to pop out my memory card and go ahead and sync all my footage up from the bulk filming that I've been doing because I'm going to record a podcast episode tomorrow as well as some more short form video content. But you guys, by the time this vlog goes live, if I stick to my schedule, I will be hosting a couple more like really fun events. The first one coming up is gonna be a masterclass about a lot of different ways you can be making money in your online business. And I highly, highly encourage you guys to give that a listen. If you're not subscribed to my YouTube channel here, please do that. Like seriously, take two seconds, hit subscribe. It seriously supports the heck out of my channel and really shows me that you guys like this type of content. So please do that for me. And because the first million podcast episodes are recorded and posted here, you can also access those on Apple podcasts and, um, Spotify, but I'm going to be filming for the podcast tomorrow. I need to clear off my memory card. So thank you guys for joining me today. Please hit subscribe. I hope today wasn't like a downer video, but wanted to share some updates with you. I did get my inspection for the new investment property scheduled and i i can't even believe i'm saying that i'm like having a meltdown <laughs> so friday that's happening so i don't know i might vlog that day but i don't like in case we get like bad news or something i wouldn't want to like be all upset i don't know if it's meant to be it'll be i believe that anyways i'm gonna go get my footage exporting i will see you guys in the next one have a great day or night wherever you guys are at bye, -bye.